All right, now I'm about to do the high pressure nitrogen decay test. As you can see, I have the vacuum on. It's drawing vacuum. I just closed the low side because I wanna sweep the clean dry nitrogen through the high side. You can see I have the high side fitting on. So the high pressure nitrogen will sweep through the high side, push over to the low side as I fill it up with nitrogen because I'm gonna use it as part of my sweep anyway after the high pressure nitrogen leak decay test. Then I'll be drawing all the vacuum out through only the low side hose. So it's performing two actions. I'm doing the pressure decay test and then I'm also using it as a sweep gas to bring it out under the low side only. Uh, and this helps aids in removing moisture uh, that you'll be baking out of here. So here we go, low side off. Let's kill the vacuum. And when, as soon as I kill the vacuum, you'll see this go. This is not the ideal place to take vacuum on because I'm actually reading the decay and everything in the hoses that are dirty. So you would never want to do that in the first place, but everybody does. This is automotive anyway. This is not commercial refrigeration. So since automotive is kind of like the uh, adopted step tile that gets a beat and abused, uh, that's what the automotive industry is compared to HVAC. All right. So off, we're having some decay right now and I'm also reading the decay of the hoses. Open, let's give it some gas. Okay, watch. Okay, now the, now the high side is where the nitrogen's going through. I'm slowly opening it up. And because of the hard shutoff and the spring pressure to overcome and everything like that, it will not go over to the low side all the way. See, it's stopping at 86. Like right there, it is like a dead stop. No matter how much I, I put in the high side, it is stopped. So we're at 173 PSI. So now I'll put a little, uh, I'll open up the low side and fill that to 173. Okay, now low side and high side are open. We'll let them both stable out. It'll go up to 173 point whatever. Or 74, 74 point. So until it comes to a complete rest, I will not turn off. This is getting gas right now, pressure. It's pressurizing, I'd say. The rubber is flexing. All the hoses are opening up a little bit as a little pressure goes in there. Rubber O-rings are shifting over. This is how you close leaks up that are leaking and, and after you put pressure, they stop leaking. O-rings are bending over and being pushed over. Everything is expanding until this stops rising. And usually you'd go away 10, 15 minutes, let the system stabilize. Okay, so I'm gonna close this off now. All right, close it off. And I'll let it, I'm gonna go grab my sandwich and uh, going up the block and ordering the sandwich. I'll come back and then I'll go into the tightness test. After this has rested a few minutes and I know it's not gonna go down due to more stretching and flexing. All right, next video.